Hi, this is Nikki Woods, and we are going beyond the studio with Miss Taquita Thorns. I am so thrilled to meet you. Hi, it's very nice to meet you. Thanks for having me. Well, let's let's just start at the beginning for people who may not be familiar, and they may not be because you look a little bit different. You got rid of all the hair, which, but it's gorgeous. I love it. I love it. I love the natural. It's, okay. it's, it's beautiful. Okay. And how free do you feel? I mean, I'm sure it. Oh my goodness! Get <laughs> go up, take a shower, get dressed, out the door. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. But we remember you from MTV's. You know, with no preparation for doing my hair. In that sense. <laughs> <laughs> we remember you from MTV's uh, making of a band. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to talk about it. Yes, I do. I was waiting for your question. Oh, okay. <laughs> So tell me how you, how you got involved in that and what was that experience like? I, I heard about the audition from a friend and uh, we we went down out in downtown Detroit and uh, we am going down to audition. Uh, I made the cut to New York to compete against uh, the top 40 in the country uh, to be on making the band. I showed, you know, a band Diddy was putting together in uh, New York. And uh, it was exciting. I was in college at the time. I actually dropped out uh, of school to do it, to just go off and pursue my dreams once the, once the opportunity, you know, came about. And uh, I had a, I had an okay time. I had a fun time. It wasn't just okay. I had a fun time. It's just I'm an artist and without creative control or without, you know, more control than I had at the time, I couldn't really express what I wanted or I wasn't really as happy as I could have been with creative control, but that's another story. So you, you then I guess are a solo artist. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know naturally, I think naturally I grew up singing, honestly, uh, in the church and in choir and in, in concert choir and elementary and middle school and high school. And, uh, I was a lead vocalist, um, through all phases and I, it's what I'm used to, right. but, for making the band, it was kind of fun being around other young women who had uh, similar dreams, you know, and, and goals, and and um, mm, yeah, it was it was it, it was fun. It was fun. <laughs> so, but out of that spun then a reality, another reality TV show. With yes. And okay. So. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so it, me, oh, it was basically a spinoff. Go ahead. No, I was going to say it was called Takeda and Cowie, and it was on, I guess, in two thousand and seven. Yes, it was, it aired in 2007, and um, it was a spinoff show for Making the Band. Kylie and I were were friends on Making the Band, and um, I guess the producers took notice to our friendship, and they wanted us to uh, do a comedy, a family comedy, a little spinoff showcasing, you know, I think mo um, showcasing our the funny side. You know, it They're was just to get a job. It was it was hard to get a job, but it was loosely, it was loosely it was loosely scripted, and uh, it was it was it wasn't real situations entirely. Like it was cute little jobs, and it just showed how we interacted uh, together when we were together and how funny we were when we were together. But you know, if if it was singing or if it was like okay, you got to go in and you got to perform through two nights a day or whatever. It, honestly, it I would have kept that job, or we would have kept that job. <laughs> Because I'm, you know, I'm, a, I'm a writer, I'm a performer. And so tell me what you're doing next. I know you've released some music, and I think that you have a, a full-length album coming up sometime this year. So update everybody on what you've been up to. Oh, what I've been up to since Tequita and Kaui. Motherhood. I'm a mommy. Hey. And that changes so, everything, doesn't it? It changes everything. <laughs> but, I mean, it's so much fun. It's so much fun. I'm a mommy. I am a wife. I'm married. Hey, I found love. Um, believe in the power of love. I actually wrote my first single uh -huh. off my album, my very first album, Rough and Fancy, to be released uh, sometime in April. Updates on my website, tequitathorns.com. But uh, the first single off Rough and Fancy is called Believe in the Power of Love. Uh, uh, it was a collaboration with uh, uh, another writer and uh, producer and drummer and engineer, Eddie Hedges. And uh, I walked in the studio. Next thing you know, we have Believe. And, you know, it's... Um, it's a uh, it's one of my favorite. All of the songs are my favorite, but it's one of my favorite off the album because it's a true story. All of my songs are true, are real um, 
They're true stories. And this one in particular is about my husband uh, and, and emotions that I had when we were dating. When we were dating and I'm thinking like, you got to believe so many questions. Who cares? Too many answers. Let's just go with this. What I feel for you is great. What you feel for me is great. I'm on a mission. Believe in the power of love. You got to. So, and that's how I got be believe. And then nobody is the second. Am I just rambling? Do no, you want to go? Keep going. But I do have a question. Okay. I love music. I love talking about music. No, keep going. Uh, the second single off uh, my album is Nobody But You, and it's a, it's, an, it's another song about love. Another song. All, all the songs on the album are about love. And uh, it's uh, it's about loving somebody or something so much. You don't ever want to be away from it. You don't want nothing but that that one person or How long people. have you been married? Oh, uh, why are you asking me? Because it's going to wear off. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just letting you know. <laughs> Three years. All of that togetherness is going to wear off eventually. <laughs> what? what? All of this happiness? <laughs> you, just be, you just be happy away from each other a little bit more. So I, I guess my biggest question is because going through, and I, I can only imagine what the experience was like working with P. Diddy. I mean, I know him and I know his work ethic, and I also know how hands-on he is when it comes to certain projects. Um, now okay. that you're on your own, what have you learned about your you and yourself a, as an artist? Um, I've always I've always uh, had a love for music, always since since a little girl, and uh, being on making the band and being amongst a group of other women doing the same thing and and that no control, I think that. Uh, I I don't know I don't know it was it was it wasn't the me that I was before I went it mm -hmm. was definitely some of me I was very silly and a lot of my personality came out because sometimes I was in situations I didn't know what to do you know so I said smile you know be happy make the most of it but now that I'm on my own and I have my uh, own record label on over records you know I can I I have all creative control and I can pick what um, what uh, what musicians I want who I want to work with. Uh, you know, I get to be I get to be more creative and have my hands, you know, in Inert. everything. What advice That's, do you have for women and young in girls? The sun. Yeah, what what advice do you have for women and young girls that want to, to do what you're doing, that want to be in music and want to be in the spotlight? I would I would tell them, especially with the online explosion going on and all the social media sites which are free, I would I would I would tell them to uh, to to get online, to get online, do research, read, put yourself out there, put pictures out there, believe in yourself. No matter no matter what anyone else says, if you want to do it this day and age, you can do it. And um, and I think uh, that the world needs more music and more positive music and artists or or leaders to uh, to continue to help inspire the world and generations. Well, I know your song is on your website, but your YouTube channel is also pretty, uh, pretty popping over there, Mr. Key. Hey, <laughs> I'm getting it together. It wasn't always popping. <laughs> it's like you go there, it's empty. I'm like, I gotta start. Yeah, some start stuff. posting some videos. <laughs> but thank you. You're welcome. Give us your website again. Uh, com. And the first single is Believe, and then you followed it up with. Or do I have a bad Nobody one? but you. Nobody but you. Nobody but you. And that's going to be released. That's going to be released today. Really? <laughs> today is the release date of Nobody but you. All right, so, Tuesday. Well, we're marking it down. Tuesday, March twelfth. Congratulations to. You. Thank you. So this interview is over. Yeah. <laughs> It's uncomfortable. No, 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 no. No, no, I'm playing. We'll have to do it again. When you release your album, we'll absolutely do it again. Thank you. Thank you, Nikki.